I wanted to make a quick video on the Garmin Striker 4 Ice Fishing Transducer, the uh, GT8HWIF. IF, I assume, stands for Ice Fishing. Um, so you can see it's high, wide, sharp, uh, ranges from 145 to 230 kilohertz, and it's 250 watts. So there's the, the transducer there with the float. Um, best feature I found is that, uh, you know, it comes with this very flexible line. Um, so your transducer really does hang straight down. Um, and this float uh, can be easily slid up and down the line um, for rapid adjustment. Um, <clears throat> one issue is that in the manual, uh, it says that uh, you're supposed to select... Uh, dual frequency 200 slash 50 kilohertz if you have the ice fishing transducer however uh, that is wrong um, I reached out to Garmin and they've said that uh, you indeed uh, should select the appropriate uh, transducer um, so you go into sonar setup and you can see transducer type so if you do buy the ice fishing transducer um, you can select the GT8 HW instead of the dual frequency. Um, and then when you do that, what you get is you get, uh, you can change the width um, here, the beam width. So if you just select the dual frequency, you can't uh, change the beam width with uh, when you select the actual transducer. Um, this pops up and so you can change it from 16 degrees all the way to 24. So the beam is actually not as wide um, as the regular transducer that comes with the Garmin, um, the 77 kilohertz. But uh, they claim that uh, this ice fishing transducer can uh, provide better separation um, of signals and, and clear definition of the bottom. I haven't used it enough uh, to know if, if that's true. Um, so I'm hoping this year to explore that a bit further. Um, and another cool feature, as some of you know, is that you can uh, do a split screen. So you can go split frequency, and you can have two screens, and then you can go into that. You can change the uh, beam width uh, uh, in each column. Um, just trying to play around with how to do that again. Okay, yeah, go to beam width, and then it actually gives you your left and your right columns. So you can keep your left at 24. You can put your right at higher frequency and then lower beam width, 16 degrees. Okay. And now you're running uh, the two different A scopes with the two different frequencies. Um, yeah, a couple other quick setups for that they recommend for ice fishing is that you select uh, manual bottom so there is the auto bottom but they say for ice fishing best to start with manual and also <clears throat> for signal uh, signal interference <clears throat> go to uh, the noise reject and put your interference on low um, so that's the interference low so ice fishing they recommend uh, that's on low and I have the surface noise uh, on hide and the TVG on low. So that's just a quick uh, look at the ice fish fishing transducer. Um, again, I, I like it because of uh, the flexible line that comes with it. It's a shorter line. I think it's a, a total of eight feet. Um, so you're not dealing with you know 20 feet of line. Thanks for watching.